Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Sam here, and today is June 7th, 2010, and today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone 4G, which was just announced today, and for some of you this may be old news, because if you heard about the story from that the guy from Gizmodo, who found the so-called prototype of the new iPhone in a bar and made a video review about it, if you've seen that iPhone that he reviewed, it's pretty much the new iPhone that was just announced today. It has two cameras, one on the front, one on the back. Uh, the back camera is going to, they're bumping it up to a 5 megapixel camera. And it's going to be able to shoot in 720 pixel HD video. And, or 720p, I'm, I'm pretty sure the P stands for pixel, but don't quote me on that. Um, anyway, and then the front facing camera is going to enable you to do video chat, iPhone to iPhone video chat. And it's currently only going to allow you to chat over Wi-Fi. And they're, I, they're hopefully going to change that in the future so you know you could chat with people on Skype or, you know, any other service, whatever you use. And hopefully they'll, they'll allow you to do it over 3G too. And also, uh, so far it hasn't, the iPhone hasn't been announced for Verizon yet. Hopefully they'll announce that in the future, and when they do, I'll try to make a video on it, you know, to update you on the news. But as of now, it's still not going to be on Verizon, um, which kind of stinks because AT&T just removed their uh, unlimited data for 3G. So you can only get, like, you still pay, have to pay, like, $30 a month, but you only get, like, a couple gigs or something. Or I'm not even sure if you get a gig. I'm pretty sure it's a couple gigs, but still, that's not as much as unlimited. And Verizon still gives limited, uh, unlimited, sorry. And uh, you could still, of course, you know, jailbreak, unlock your iPhone, and it's put on Verizon. But for people who don't know how to do that or just don't want to do it, it's too bad for them. Because, you know, if they want an iPhone, they can't get it. They have to wait for it to be released for Verizon. But anyway, uh, moving on to more of the features and uh, details. Uh, as if any of you haven't seen it, and I'm posting some pictures as the video goes along. Uh, it's glass on the front and back, and around the side is stainless steel. And instead of a volume rocker, like we've seen on all the you know iPhones, iPod Touches, it's going to have, at the same spot, it's going to have two volume buttons. They're separate buttons right next to each other. And uh, then right above that is a mute button and a micro SIM slot at the on the top, I think. It's either on the right side or the top. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, this is going to be released on... Uh, let me look. I got my iPod. I have some of the details in an article. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. As I was saying. Okay. Okay. It's going to be released on June 24th in four countries, and in July, it's going to be released in 18 more countries. And then by September, it says it's going to be re released in, it's going to ha be uh, released in 88 countries um, total, I think. So, hopefully anyone who wants to get one of these is going to be able to get one, you know, and if, if wherever, depending on where they live. Uh, sooner or later, <clears throat> and the pricing is going to be $199 for a 16 gig, and $299 for a 32 gig, so $100 difference, and you get twice as much if for the $100 difference, twice as much memory, so let, I'll just repeat that one more time, 16 gig, $200, 32 gig, $300. And, uh, oh, another new feature is going to be the screen is going to be four times better than the 3GS, the resolution. It's going to be 326 pixels per inch. And that is about as good as it gets because Steve Jobs claimed that the human eye can only uh, capture 300 pixels per inch. And I'm not exactly sure what that means, but, uh, and I'm... That's just what he said. Uh, I'm, he's probably right because he probably looked it up or something. But, yeah, I'm just reading this off the article. 
uh, so yeah. And uh, also Bing is going to be enabled on it. Google is still going to be this default search engine, but they're letting Bing go on. And he said there's going to be, there's, you know, 100 plus new features for this iPhone. I'm not sure what all those are because he didn't announce all of them at the, um, at the event, whatever it's called. I forget what the event is called. <laughs> but anyway, he didn't announce all of them. He only announced like eight. But anyway, those are some of the main features, the, you know, two cameras and the ability for the rear-facing camera to be able to shoot in HD and a 5 megapixel instead of a 3 megapixel camera. And uh, the front-facing camera, that's a really big improvement. And then the design, it's not going to be curved, it's, it looks a little more boxy. And, uh, you know, glass on the back too. So it, it seems like a pretty fragile device. I really wouldn't want to drop one of these. But anyway, um... So, yeah, if you have any new news about this iPhone or, you know, anything announced at, app, you know, this event, please just post a comment down there and uh, let me know what you have, you know, let me know what you know about this. And, uh, so, yeah, and also if you find any of my videos helpful or you just, you know, uh, find them interesting or whatever, please subscribe. And also write and comment if you'd like. And so thanks, YouTubers. And uh, yeah, this has uh, been the iPhone 4 has been announced. So thanks. See you, YouTubers. Peace out.